All right. So uh, don't mind if I just start. I don't want to take much of your time, right? Just uh, a bit of closing off. So it's almost over. Um, I think some of, uh, some of you are now running towards public transport. And uh, I'm already going to give you a map so you go don't get lost. But there's more after this, right? So you're here now. I hope you didn't get lost too much. So, And um, the trams and the bus are, are well, up there. And FOSDEM also supplies a free shuttle bus to the south station. Um, I think it drives about every half hour. Uh, it's probably already has a queue, but there are quite a few buses. Um, so you might want to use that. OK, now, um, in a closing talk, uh, it's very appropriate to thank people. And the thing is that FOSDEM is a, a non-commercial conference and is entirely organized by volunteers. So necessarily, there's uh, a few people to thank. And I'd like to start with, uh, with the sponsors. And the, the first one doesn't actually give us money. No, maybe, I don't even know if they have money looking at their buildings. No, that's a joke. We love you. <laughs> Sorry. I apologize. No, we love you, LB. I mean, they give us all the buildings and all rooms for free. Yeah. Yeah. If they wouldn't do that, I mean, there would be no, uh, no free conference, right? Now, we also have a, a number of corporate sponsors who we are very thankful to. Uh, we do crazy things like um, have IPv6 network everywhere, record all video talks, have free buses, uh, and awesome speakers, and so forth. And these sponsors, those are the guys that are actually paying for it without getting much in return except for this slide. So uh, <laughs> let's thank them as well, right? Yeah, and they keep coming back. Awesome. Now, one of the other kinds of sponsors is you, right? Because we've been having donations. Uh, you get a free t-shirt together with the donations, starting from 25 euros. And we've had loads of donations, and I think it's one third of our, of our, of our total budget, maybe a bit less, maybe I'm exaggerating. In any case, uh, thank you very much, because without these donations, this wouldn't work out either. So, thank yourself. Now, there's loads of volunteers, and you've seen three categories of volunteers, the yellows, the oranges, and the greens. And I will, I will shortly uh, expand on which are which. So the yellows, that's the staff, and there's 25 crazy people who, uh, who start with uh, organizing FOSDEM somewhere in August, and then continue all the way until uh, tonight, and then we crash, and we hibernate until August again. So these are the people that do all of the preparatory work um, yeah, and that's pretty crazy. Uh, the yellows, and then we go to the greens, but that's the next slide. Video. So, video, also entirely voluntarily, there was this crazy idea about you know, we, we record the main tracks, and last year we had some streaming, and, and people like that. So let's do all 22 rooms. <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> yeah. Of course, we're not getting 100% yet, right? I mean, the, if I don't, well, you probably didn't see it, but take, take the whole space of this banner, and that's the amount of material that we had, and that had to go to all of the rooms, and then some cables were missing, and some cameras broke down. All of the usual I hate it stuff happened. But in any case, these four guys, they come up with a plan, and they pretty much executed, and uh, like, on, on Saturday, there was 1.5 terabyte of, oh, I should, of uh, raw, DV, raw DV video. And for today, there is again the same amount. 
um, which is pretty crazy in itself. But then there was this guy, Sese. I don't know if you're here. Maybe not. And he said, you know, now that you're recording it, let's stream it as well. And so, you know, in, I think it was in three days or something, or maybe less, he just set up a service and he managed to stream 18 out of the 22 rooms during the entire weekend. That must be a new world record. So actually, I, I, one more thing is that for these guys, FOSDEM doesn't end when the building is clean. For most of us, it does. But no, they're going to actually continue and transcode everything. And they're hoping to have um, a lot already online tonight and then more tomorrow. And I think they were aiming for Tuesday for having everything ready. So I mean, these guys are crazy, but they're pulling it off. And that's just awesome. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, then the orange guys. Oh, I forgot to change the color. The orange guys, they are the volunteers. Uh, they just sign up to our, to our mailing list and say, oh sure, I want to help, uh, FOSM is great, you know, I want to contribute. And, and that's what they do. And many more people actually turn up on the day itself and say, well, I'd like to help as well. And in fact, if you feel like doing the same next year, Go ahead, just turn up and say, well, I want to help as well. But I'm not recruiting now. Let's just give them a big, warm heart of applause. I think I'm, I'm totally running over my five minutes that I promised. Uh, so dev room organizers are volunteers as well. We have 33 dev rooms and we have more than 33 dev room organizers. Thank you as well. <laughs> dev room speakers, even more. Okay, 445, that's crazy. So in total we had 28 main tracks, 33 dev rooms in uh, 22 rooms per day, 38 lightning socks, 445 speakers, which of course you all remember the names from the previous slide. Uh, <laughs> 512 talks, coming up to a total of recorded, well, best effort recorded, 308 hours and 55 minutes. I hope you enjoyed it in your uh, 22 hours here. Yes. Now, most often asked question number one. How many visitors come to FOSDEM? We don't know because we don't ask any money and that's the way we like it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But of course, even though that we don't do tracking and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, over the two days, we actually saw 8,333 unique MAC addresses. So I'm not going to tell you how much visitors you have. You can just choose. You know, do you think that on average everybody here has one device? Well, then you have that number. 1.5, 5,000 people. Do you think that actually some people don't bring any and whatever? Well, you know, choose your factor. These are the numbers. You can do with it what you want. <laughs> So some more about the network. Um, we have a large number of heroes who had another crazy idea, namely, you know, let's make our default SSID, let's just call it FOSDEM and people will click on it and whatever, uh, and let's make it IPv6 only. And it worked! Yes. So, uh, these guys, actually the first three gave a talk yesterday about some of the more technical uh, issues about it. Uh, it, will, it was of course recorded and you can watch it uh, tomorrow, I guess. Um, but so in, some, some interesting things that they gave me there, there were six million, more than six million connections and only one million web-based. I mean, we are a developer conference, right? <laughs> 
also, they also lied a lot, you know, lots of lying, these net 64 uh, translated addresses. So that means that actually we have 28,000 connections from IPv6 to the thing, legacy thing called IPv4. And, you know, it just worked. We lied a bit. There were some hacks. And, you know, these connections were successful. Nice. Yeah. Uh, but the real question. So in his opening talk, uh, Philip asked, you know, this is probably not going to work. So please, if you encounter bugs, file a bug report. So I'd like to ask, who has already filed a bug regarding an IPv4? One, two, three. Okay, we, I mean, that's okay. You have tomorrow to do it too, right? We, we can report more of that. Um, and then the dual stack, so there were uh, 5,800 of those 8,000 dual stacks, so there's still a bit of work to do, and uh, loads of connections there, but again, only a few of them were web. And now comes the worst part. Ladies and gentlemen, there were... <laughs> Is that possible? We're running an IPv6 only network and it works, and yet 129 people tried to connect over Telnet. <laughs> Luckily, yeah, who, 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 raise your hand if you dare. <laughs> right? <I'm there. laughs> So uh, luckily our heroes were smart enough and they, they didn't let those connections through, so nothing happened. But, uh, Crazy, crazy. Oh, some graphs. This is from Setter. E. Um, so we, <laughs> yeah, we have a we have a one gigabit uh, uplink from Colt. Thank you very much, Colt. Um, and actually, this graph shows some nice statistics. The video that that's the streaming that has been going on and that's outbound. Uh, this war, this part is the inbound, and so. Yeah, I think it's about one third was on the IPv6 only networks and, uh, and two thirds were on the dual stack. And there's a similar figure um, for Sunday, refreshed, well, pretty early. So again, kind of the same things. We all like graphs, right? Okay, now, before I'm, I'm closing off, we'd like to get some feedback. How did you enjoy FOSDEM? Uh, don't tell me at this point right now, uh, but uh, th there's two ways. Our most preferred way is just a, a short or a long, as you wish, preferably short. Email to uh, FOSDEM, feedback at FOSDEM.org. Or alternatively, there's a pretty empty ripout page in the booklet that you can leave at the info desk. Because we, we'd like to make FOSDEM better, there are some issues like, oh, some of the rooms were surprisingly a bit too small, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, just, we'll just do more stream. No, I'm kidding. Uh, well, I'm not kidding. So, uh, to close off, um, it's, been a, it's been a bit of a rough year. There are lots of crazy people that did lots of crazy things. Uh, things weren't always that easy. So, I'd like you to, to share a thank, right? So, if you're thankful, you know, to your dev room organizer, to the video recording team, to the yellow guys, you know, just, just walk up to them, give them a little shoulder pat, and, you know, say, thank you very much. All right? And with that... Okay. Thank you. So the reason I say the reason I say this is because I'm I'm pretty much the only yellow guy that's here, and all the others are already working their ass off. So they, so they didn't hear your applause, right? Okay. Thank you very much. See you next year, and have a good trip home. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>